Hey guys, it's Astral Wolf, and welcome to episode 5 of the Batch Tutorial Series. In today's video, I will be elaborating on how to use the start command. I know I did touch a little bit about start on episode 3, but I today I'll give you a very detailed explanation about how to use start. So, what is start? Start basically just starts a program. It's as simple as that. So, if I want to open Firefox, I would type start Firefox. Dot exe. Let's just save that, and um, here it is. And it opens Firefox. So, start can be used to open basically anything that ends with an exe. You could start um, MS Paint, that is Microsoft Paint. For those of you who don't know, we could also start. WM player, that's Windows Music Player, and we can start anything that ends with an exe really. So, I guess, oh, Notepad. So, with these four examples, I'm going to show you. So, that opened Firefox, MS Paint, Windows Music Player, Media Player, sorry, and Notepad. So, start can be even used to a more detailed extent. For example, you can even open Facebook with start. So, all you have to do is start, and then the program that you want to open Facebook, for this, we will be using Firefox, Mozilla Firefox browser. So, start, Firefox exe, space, two quotes, and type www.facebook.com. Okay, let's just cut these. Okay, and tada! It opened Facebook. So start can if you want to open two web pages with start, just leave another space and type www and insert web page link here, and it opens both in two tabs. So for those of you who are using Chrome, I'm not sure what the exe would be, but you can just Google that. Personally, I I think Firefox is better than Chrome, but hey. So, yeah, you can open the web pages with start, and then we can even open pictures with start. So, we type start mspaint.exe. That is the program that we're going to use to open the photo. So, we're using paint to open the photo. And then, for photos, we need to put the photo's um, location, its address. So, right, I'm going to open index.jpg using this. So, go to the photo, right click properties. Copy its location and paste it within quotes. So index.jpg. So now let me just explain here. Start just starts the program. So it starts Microsoft Paint, but it doesn't open a photo, it just starts paint. Once we leave the location of the photo in quotes, it actually opens the photo itself. So let's try that again. So there we have it, opens Facebook and Wikipedia and it opens index.jpg in Microsoft Paint. Now you can even open music with start, so all you have to do is just start Windows Media Player .exe, and then the location of the music in quotes. So for this we are going to open kalimba.mp3, it's the same address on the desktop, so all you have to do is just paste it again and type kalimba.mp3 and now it's going to open Facebook, Wikipedia, this photo and kalimba there we go so basically the three essential things for start is just the start command the program that you wish to open and what do you want the program to do so you can't just type start and then um, start Kalimba or MP3. It won't work. And if you just type start Windows Media Player, it won't open the music that you want. It'll just open the program. So you need these three things: start the program itself and what you want the program to do. So 
You can even use start to open text documents using notepad.exe. So for this instance, we're going to open blah.exe. So again, start notepad.exe, the program which we want to open blah.txt in. The location of blah.txt in quotes, which is on the desktop. So we can just copy this. And uh, blah.txt. And as you can see, it has opened blah.txt. So now, um, now that you know how start works, I'm going to teach you how to enable you to choose between what you want to open. Okay. So I did make a program for this, and I'm not going to show it in this video. But let's say you're on the computer and you don't want to type Facebook and Wikipedia, you can you can just do something like this. So set slash p choice. For those of you who do not understand what I'm doing here, you should refer to episode two. I did explain what set slash p does. So just what website do you want to open? Could be something like that, and then give the user options. So one Wikipedia two chase book and hold on and three YouTube. And then you could do if percent choice percent equals one start firefox dot exe www dot face wikipedia sorry wikipedia dot com and um, just keep doing this if percent choice percent equals two Start Firefox. Exe. www.facebook.com. And if percent choice percent equals three, start Firefox. Exe. In quotes. www.youtube.com. So for those of you who don't know, the difference between one equal sign and two equal signs, one equal signs basically assigns a variable to something. So for this, we are assigning this question to choice. I'm not sure if I explained that correctly. Two equal signs uh, just means that three equals to three. So if we do this, we're just assigning choice equal to, no nothing will work. You need to put two equal signs. So if you don't understand, I'm sorry, I can't really explain it any further. So yeah, let's get on with our program. So, oh, hold on, we forgot to put echo off. And why not a title? Pick your website. Oops. Color. Just to brighten things up a bit. What website do you want to open? Wikipedia, Facebook, or YouTube? So now if I open three, it will open YouTube. I'm sure this handy trick here will help some of you some way. I'm very sure. I hope this elaboration on start was decent enough. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.